Let's begin with system shortcuts. The Windows key can open or close the Start menu when you press it. If you press Windows X, it starts the System Utility menu, which is usually opened with the right click of the Start menu. The shortcut Windows Pause opens the System Properties window in the view that we remember from versions of Windows before Windows 10. Windows R opens the Run dialog window. You can use it to start any system utility such as Register Editor, Group Policy Editor, Command Prompt and so on. It's a must-have tool if you want to set up a computer. By the way, there is a special video about it in our channel. Follow the link in the description to watch it. To start the Task Manager quickly without using the mouse, press Ctrl, Shift, Escape. If you have Windows 10 and you are using several desktops with a number of windows and applications opened in them, use Windows Tab to find the one you need and to switch there. As a result, all desktops and running applications will be shown. Click on the one you need to switch there. I'm sure everybody knows such Windows tool as Magnifier. Post a comment to let us know if you have ever used it. I'm sure few people would say yes, I have, but why? <laughs> because it's not convenient enough. But you think it is too clumsy because you don't know how to use it properly. Press Windows and Plus to make magnifier zoom into the area of the screen where your mouse cursor is. Press Windows and Minus to zoom out. The hotkey Windows B moves the cursor to the system tray area and helps to select or set up a function or application. It is especially convenient when using a laptop without a mouse. Using the key Print Screen needs no explanation. It takes a screenshot which you can insert into an application like Word or Paint. However, it is not always convenient to use it. With the shortcut window, Windows Print Screen, you can take a screenshot and save it automatically to the folder Pictures – Screenshots. Usually it can be done when inserting a screenshot from the clipboard into Paint. Alt Print Screen will help you to take a screenshot of an active window and put it into the clipboard. It takes a screenshot of the active window, not on the entire screen. It is very convenient. If the program froze or the Start menu doesn't respond when you try to restart or shut down the computer, try unblocking it before you use Hide Reset. To do it, press Ctrl Alt Delete. Select the action. If you have to leave your workplace quickly but you have no time and reason to shut down your computer, lock it by pressing Windows L. Then, to start Windows Explorer and open this PC folder, press Windows E. It is especially relevant for Windows 8 and 10 users. There is a special video about it. Find the link in the description. Press Ctrl and move the scrolling wheel to change the size and view of folder elements, icons, details, content, and so on. If you opened a lot of folders of applications while working, you can quickly get to the desktop by pressing Windows D. All opened windows will be minimized to tray. In the same way, you can restore them later. Press Alt Tab to switch between running applications and open folders. Hold Alt and use Tab to move the cursor to the necessary one. When you let go of both keys, the window where the cursor is will open. With the key sequence Windows plus 1, 2, 9, you can start an application from the taskbar. The position of the application that starts will correspond to the digit key you are pressing. The shortcut Alt F4 will close the active window. If you've gone too deep into your computer directories, press backspace and arrow pointing to the left to go back to the previous folder. To rename a file, there is no need to go into the right-click menu and look for Rename function. Just press F2 and rename it. To open a folder in full screen, press F11. After you press it again, the view will revert to the previous mode. By pressing Ctrl F, you can switch to the Search tool in the current folder. In our channel, you can find a detailed video about searching for files and programs in Windows 10, 8 or 7. You will find the link in the description. Some more stuff. If there are files in a folder that you need to copy or move to another folder, you can also do it with hotkeys. To copy one or several files in a folder, we usually select them with a mouse or by holding the Shift button and pressing the arrow key in the direction of the file we want to select. 
If you, if you want to copy all the files, press Ctrl A to select all. To copy the files, press Ctrl C. To cut them, Ctrl X. Go to the other folder and press Ctrl V. The files are copied or moved depending on what function you used. To cancel the action, press Ctrl Z. Some may say that everybody knows it, but these shortcuts are the basic things and I could not miss them. After all, this, these hotkeys must be relevant for almost any application. This is only a small share of Windows shortcuts. If you are interested, in the description there is a link to the Microsoft official website offering all possible key sequences for all versions of Windows. Now, after migrating to Windows 10, users accustomed to Windows 7 will certainly want to change the shortcut to switch keyboard languages. The problem is that the shortcut Ctrl Shift doesn't work in the new operating system. That is why it is interesting to know how to change keyboard switching methods in Windows 10. The new operating system has two key combinations for this purpose – Alt, Shift and Windows Space. Windows Space is the system default shortcut and it works in any case. To change Alt Shift to Ctrl Shift, go to Control Panel, Language, Advanced Settings. In the section Switching Input Methods, go to Change Language Bar Hotkeys. In the tab Advanced Key Settings, click on Between Input Languages, Change Key Sequence, and change it in the window that opens. Then click OK and apply. Let's see if it works. The key sequence has been changed. One more interesting thing. To start any program, you can assign a key sequence in Windows. It can be done not only for a program, but even for a shortcut. That is, a key sequence can be created even to run a shortcut of a document or folder. How can you do that? Right-click on the shortcut and go to its properties. In the tab Shortcut, find the field Shortcut Key. By default, it is set to None. Left-click there and press the key sequence you want to use to start this shortcut, like this. Ctrl, Alt, and any letter you like. For example, Apply and OK. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does work. To cancel this key sequence, just delete it from the shortcut key field. There are also special programs to assign hotkeys. They can be free. Sharp keys, M key, hotkeys, sweet keyboard, map keyboard and so on, and fee paying. Key remapper, hot keyboard pro, comfort keys, active keyboard and others. I won't be describing each of them. If you are interested, you can find them on the internet. Close doors, I'm a fool for your love.